was 19 when I wrote this one. Dear really cute girl with a boyfriend that I suspect only loves you half as much as I could have given the proper chance. Hello. This may seem rather strange, but I've got an eye for shiny souls, and yours sticks out like a radioactive thumb in a 16th century dungeon of a classroom, so why do you say we get away from here? Away from the textbooks and the street corners and the drunk 3 a.m. stumble homers. Let's go somewhere and paint the town red. No, I mean literally. Let's paint the town red, brandishing razor-sharp paintbrushes to carve 30-story suicide notes into the wrists of skyscrapers that dare to shadow box with God and feel attention from that sunrise on those evenings when the clouds come home late and the stars linger just long enough for me to appreciate the constellations in your eyes when you blink and your lashes become wings that carry us into the sky when you sit on the moon and share small talk with Nina Simone and my grandfather, trading stories of our travels and the burdens we have left behind us like breadcrumbs for our children to follow. So when it comes to the kids, let their first words be their names, so that from the very beginning they will know what it means to define themselves, to lay claim to the earth beneath their feet, with roots for toes and fingers like leaves, we'll grow a whole forest, forget a family tree. Be my archangel, my first real kiss, a handhold that feels like resurrection when you walk into the room, and my heart becomes a ribcaged phoenix, singing fireball lullabies to calm the uneasiness in my quaking legs. I am shattering from the center like a nuclear bomb in a greenhouse, and these tiger lily lungs are burning, withering, crisping the color of midnight. We are dying here. Our limbs are not made for such heavy gravity. We are citizens of the heavens. High air balloons trapped in cages of flesh and bone. No wonder I get so high off of your touch. It must be the helium in your bloodstream, or that hydrogen smile that you throw like a boomerang at this broken space shuttle shell of a man that's forgotten how to fly, or dream, or swim in that ocean of hailstorm and thunder we were birthed from. And I just want to breathe you. Fingertip trace weather patterns onto your skin. Inhale the hurricane in your lungs and feel the calm after the storm brewing within. Dear boyfriend, and this is crazy because one time I did this and dude was actually in the audience, so I did this. <laughs> Dear boyfriend, you better hold her tighter than an armrest in a crashing airliner and pray that I don't wing walk my way onto that plane and fly her away myself because she loves you enough to be honest. Always wears her heart on her sleeve so I can see your face every time she waves hello or shakes my hand just to keep it platonic. So don't think that I'm gonna recognize you and the wedding photos you will probably take with her years from now as I sit at home with my own children, truthful as humanly possible but still earthbound, without that hydrogen smile to lift my spirits and remind me what turbulence tastes like at one in the morning. Dear God, you said that love isn't selfish, that it's patient and perfect and it's the only real rule you ever gave us to love both you and our enemies. And I'm trying my hardest not to cover my neighbor's wife, but they're not even married. And she looks beautiful tonight. Okay, I get it. Everyone's in your life for a reason. Whether they cause you to fall from grace or spring to joy, they are only here for a certain season. So dear, unattainable love. If you ever find yourself alone at a bus stop in Brooklyn with a lead-heavy heart and craving for wings, write me a love poem on a kite made from paper clips and old crossword puzzles. Wait for an evening where that sunset is so brazen you could fry an egg on it. And let it fly. Address to the boy with earthquake legs. Sign sincerely the best co-pilot this side of the atmosphere. P.S. Lying was never worth it. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.